All right, so today I'm going to try and hook up a Bluetooth adapter that I got for my Mega Squirt in the MR2. I'm not quite sure how it'll work. I know they have to put a jumper in the ECU, but uh, we'll see how that goes. So, start by opening my trunk. Now I'm going to just take this out. Here is this is the Bluetooth adapter. It's by Perfect Tuning. I believe they're out of Canada. And I don't know. We'll see how it goes. I don't think this will be too, too difficult. But whenever I say that, I have a big issue. So, I don't know. Let's get started, though. Okay, so that's how you break down a mega square module. There's the back side of it, front side, and um, I'll show you guys where the Bluetooth spot is. So, right on the edge of that connector near my thumb is the Bluetooth jumper. And all it does is it puts voltage on a pin that the Bluetooth module needs to power up so that you can use it and it will send a signal. So I'm just going to put a little jumper in that spot, reinstall, and we'll try and hook up the Bluetooth. Okay, I uh, sorted those pins together. As you can see right there. I'm going to reinstall the board and we'll test out this Bluetooth. Cool, undercover. Um, I guess we can do the rest of this from right here. So, take my iPad. Going to uh, turn on the key. See if it finds the uh, finds the ECU. Okay, so it looks like we got something going on. It says it's loading up for MS Extra Two, and I've figured out how to get it to connect. It's just downloading some stuff, pulling it out of the car so I get better wireless because the house is all the way over there. I'm using the Wi-Fi from the house right now. Pretty cool though. Alright, so it says it's connected. Seems like it's monitoring something. Alright, so as you can see, it's obviously pouring out now. But I figured out how to do this all. So I've got kind of like my gauge set up now. AFRs are right, oh, 
hell? I just had my whole game, my whole screen set up. Oh, I guess it changes if I turn the uh, direction of the screen. But anyways, here's my vertical configuration. I've got my um, oh injection timing. I thought that was ignition timing. Cool temp, manifold, vac boost, and engine speed. AFR in the plot graph in the bottom. Definitely working, guys. It's pretty cool. And there you go. There's my uh, AFR gauge is working now. Oh, gotta go back this way. Pretty cool, guys. Now, I don't think this will give me the same like auto-tune ability that I have with the computer, but I'll at least be able to like go for a quick run and see what's up and kind of do stuff with this and data log myself. Sounds nasty right here. Pretty cool guys. I like it. I'm happy. I think I think it's pretty neat. This is a lot nicer than having to use a computer all the time. So there you go. Pretty cool. I think that's gonna be all for this video. Obviously, next time I drive the car, I'll like do a little update. We can actually log some stuff. I'll do polls. We can see how it reacts in the car. But um, for now, that's it. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, and uh, yeah, you can catch me on Instagram at Laristocrat. And hope you enjoyed.